Welcome back. It's Friday, which means we get to talk to our good friends, Kevin and Liz from 98.7 The Dove. Good morning. I will just let you know I've lost my voice, guys, so please oh, no. bear with me. Yeah. Lose it. What happened? You want we should help you look for it? Yes. yes. We've looked all over the studio. We can't find it. You know what? It's got to be well, a lot harder to lose your voice in radio. Oh, my goodness. Have you ever done well, that? Have you? Yes. Oh, gosh. We, we went, he and I, and I don't even know how many, 20, probably 20 years ago, we went to a convention oh together. Boy. Yeah, boy. And we learned that laryngitis is actually contagious. Yeah. And it went through, and it was a morning show. Uh huh. A DJ convention. It was a morning show DJ convention, yeah. and everybody went back home with laryngitis. Oh yeah, yeah. my gosh! I've been getting worse as I'm sitting next to Jeremy. I'm scared he's going to give this to me. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna. Well, we didn't know it was contagious, and it yeah. went, when we both came home and we had no voice, and our boss was so mad. We were yes. Can I just say we were that convention? We just assumed it was something we did, you know. <laughs> that convention and what happened sounds like the great premise to a movie. It does. I would watch that movie. The worst thing yeah. that happened to me when I lost my voice, I was on a gig singing, and I didn't have it for two weeks. And what I did was I shipped the songs in on tape, and I lip-synced to them for two weeks. Oh, my gosh. That's scary yeah. because then horrible. you Britney Spears or something. Right. <laughs> I know. It really you was, know, Liz. I, when I used to do the uh, PA for the Cardinals, I would get uh, a couple of times I got really bad, and it really hurt real bad, but I did it anyway. It was horrible. It sounded like uh, Darth Vader's grandpa was calling the uh, names. You know? I just would turn up the mic real loud and try to whisper, you know. <laughs> Overmodulate. Right. It was bad. So who got their voice back first? Um, I don't remember. It's been, like I said, it's been so long ago that we did that. Yeah. But it happens, you know, and, and performers all the time lose their voice. Yeah. You got to go get a steroid. Yeah. yeah. Right. And you know, it's funny, too. When I worked on the cruise ship, mm -hmm. I had to sing on the cruise ship. And I went down to the bar and got, like, three or four hot toddies. Mm -hmm. And I would sip them between each number. By that the helps. second show... Oh my gosh, I was feeling no pain by the end of the second show. I was Did just having a party. you sound better, though? I sounded better, and I was drunk, so there you go. <laughs> you know... Probably the best show you've ever done. Right? Funny enough, funny enough Liz does that every day, preventatively. Yeah. Uh, I just don't want to get, you know, rusty. Yeah, yeah. So a little shot of whiskey. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Okay. It's usually me and Ned Reynolds down in the break room. Yeah, Ned's got the bar going. About 8 a.m., we go down there and take a shot together. Right. <laughs> ah, I see what you're saying. I could see that. Yeah, I, I can too. That. <clears throat> I can't believe that. A whole convention of DJs and everybody lost their voice. That is hysterical. That's crazy. Yeah. It happened. Bunch of loud mouths anyway. So, yeah. You know, you know. <laughs> I don't know how y'all got a word in edgewise at that convention. Oh, you're right. Uh, trust me, it wasn't easy. And, and I think that was the convention Dr. Phil was at. Yeah. And we got to talk to him one on one, and he totally scolded us. He dissed me. It was yeah. so embarrassing. Yeah, it's one of those moments where, you know, you're, you're a DJ, you're in front of a bunch of other DJs. So you're trying to be funny, right? I thought I was being funny. And uh, we were like, he said, anybody got any questions after this big speech or whatever? I'm like, I do. And it was, a, I can't remember. It was something about wearing pants. I don't even remember what the. And I swear, the look on Dr. Phil's face, he was just looking at me like, like I, uh, You're an idiot. a moron. And, uh, you know, anyway, it was a learning experience. Yeah, don't ever insult Dr. Phil. Gotcha. Right. No. I've got my own, Doc, got his own I've got story, my own story about, about Dr. Dr. Phil. Phil. Yeah, I'm not a fan. We, we, we can't yeah, tell it on air, maybe. I can't I tell know. it right now on air. Call it? I can't okay. tell it. <laughs> call, call, give us a call. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell it on your air. Yeah, just yeah. on my air. <laughs> Okay. Hey, guys, All what's right. happening Sounds this weekend? Juicy. Can't wait yes. to hear it. Yeah. All right, so listen, um, you know, the new Bond film is opening up today. Yeah. And um, I know the sergeant and I are huge Bond fans, so right. we're looking forward to it. And we decided to do a little survey on the show today. Yeah. Who's your favorite Bond? Right. We're now, me, yeah. She's myself, I'm a Sean Connery girl, yeah. and yeah. you... I mean, I love Sean Connery. She used to date him in high school, I so it's not, not even fair. Him. But, um, <laughs> you know, they were, they were you know, hanging together. But uh, <clears throat> I grew up with a Roger Moore bond, so, I mean, I love Sean Connery. But, you know, to me, Roger <clears throat> Moore was really bond, you know. So what do you guys think? Sean Connery. Boom. Yes. Yeah. I've only seen one Bond film ever, Skyfall. 
So that's it. Who was who was in that one? I think it was Daniel Craig. <laughs> okay. Daniel Craig. Yeah. You know, if you only pick one, that's a really good one. And yeah. Liz, you know, I picked it because Adele sang the theme song. Adele. There you go. Yeah, Adele. That's the only reason I yeah. watched it. You know, we were talking about uh, actors who almost got the part of James Bond, like uh, particularly when Sean Connery decided to retire, and the names that came up. Uh, Mel Gibson could have been James Bond. Didn't happen, obviously. Uh, but the weirdest one was Dick Van Dyke. Yeah. No uh, way. Yeah, no. Because Ian, Ian Fleming, who did the James Bond movie, uh, wrote it. Uh, also did Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And, and so, was a friend of Van yeah. Dyke's, and he offered him the part. But wouldn't that have changed the entire? Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. Bond experience. He would have been crazy. Really he would have been tripping over a lot of people all the time. It would have been a lot of slapstick. It would have yeah, been. It would have. Hey, uh, Liz, you're going to have to look at the list of the people who are up for the next Bond and let us know who you want it to be. So you guys have okay. a good weekend. We love you guys. See you nice. next Friday. We hope you find your voice. Find your voice. I'll search for it all weekend. Okay. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. <clears throat> Stay right there. Ah, what if I catch it? Well, what if my, I catch it? My throat it? doesn't hurt. So is that a good sign? I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't I think hurt. So.